Hello, everybody, and welcome to the show. I am thrilled that you are here. So many of you in the chat saying hello. Welcome to all of you. I'm so excited for today's live. We are going to be talking all about building passive income as online teachers. What is better than that? Being able to grow your business, to be able to scale your business, 
and to be, be able to create passive income in your life. I'm here with Danny J from Hey Danny J and Life with Lainey, Lainey Goff. The three of us are gonna be throwing it down and talking all about tips and tricks and how we've built our businesses and how you can do the same as well. So I just wanna say hello to a few people who just popped in. If you are just jumping on and you see a live chat on the right hand side, you will be able to say hello. So do say hello. If you're watching the replay, we'd also like to hear from you. Leave a comment in the comment box below the video. So we've got uh, Stephanie coming in from, let's just put that up there, from Florida. Awesome. I hear it is hot, hot, hot in the US right now. Lots of heat waves. And I saw someone else um, saying that it was 110 degrees. I think it was Allison. Yep. 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Man, that is hot, hot, hot. Hey, Dana from Colorado. Sorry if I do not say hello to all of you, but a lot of you were jumping in before the show. So thank you so much for that. Aaron is here in the Philippines. Awesome. Uh, SoCal, we've got Rome with the Rams. That's a cool brand name. Are you mobile, uh, mobile homeowners or something like that? Uh, Philly girl in Florida world in in her Florida world now two years ago. Awesome. So let us also know what companies you teach for. And if you have businesses other than online teaching, put those in the chat as well. I would love to feature what you're doing and how you add value into the world and whatever you're creating. So do let us know if you are an online teacher, a teacherpreneur building and doing other things. So um, that's awesome. If you are new to my channel and we haven't met, my name is Tim. And this is my YouTube channel. Every Monday I go live and like to share value about online teaching and just how to build your, your, your teaching business. And I have a free course, which is called the Online Teacher Bootcamp course. It is a four module course that takes you really from not knowing where to get started all the way to passing your demo and being successful with your booking. So if you're interested in that, you can grab that at onlineteacherdo.com forward slash free course. All right, so let's jump into it. I'm gonna just look down below here and see if Lainey and Danny are ready. Are you guys ready? I'm gonna do lots of TPR here, pointing down, up. Okay, I'll bring you up. Awesome. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi. Hey, guys, or girls. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Good. good. How are you? Yeah. Awesome, good. so good to have you guys here. And uh, we're going to jump right into it. I would love for each of you maybe to introduce yourselves and say hello and where you're from and where you teach and what you do. So why don't we go with Danny first over there? Hello. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm so happy to be here. Hi, Tim. Hi, Lainey. Uh, so I am Danny of Hey Danny J. I also have a YouTube channel, so you may know me from there. I am a fellow online teacher. I teach with uh, three companies, mainly VIP Kid, GoGo -Go Kid, and OutSchool, but mostly GoGo -Go Kid. And I have a referral business, and I coach teachers how to build profitable brands on YouTube. So that's my main love, but I really got my start through teaching ESL. So that's a little backstory about me. Awesome. And I remember the probably the very first time we met, you've been on my channel a couple of times before, we actually did a video called Spilling the Tea. So if you haven't watched that, part one is on my channel and part two is on Danny's channel. Yeah. But I remember seeing your videos a long time ago when you were doing starting out with recruiting with GoGo Kid, and then you had created your office any chair and had reached out to me. So I think that was the first time we connected. And now we're just yeah. best friends. Let's just be honest, right? Yeah, I know. Seriously. <laughs> Yeah. Well, teacher best okay. yeah. yeah. We're always spilling the tea. <laughs> right. Okay. And Lainey. Yes. Yes. So my name is Lainey Goff from Life with Lainey. I also have a YouTube channel and uh, an Instagram presence. Reggie's here. Me at this is Life with Lainey. Hi, Reggie. Reggie's my virtual assistant. And um, I got my start also through online ESL with VIP Kid and uh, then started working a little over a year ago with OutSchool and saw a lot of success with that. And I have now turned my online teaching into a full-blown coaching business to show other online teachers how they can see success in the virtual classroom and how to expand that to create six-figure businesses. Uh, so awesome, so awesome. Yes. So excited to, to dump, jump into the content. And I think I first met you Definitely through Instagram. If you haven't checked yeah. out Lainey's Instagram and Danny's Instagram, they are awesome. Um, at uh, at Life with Lainey. 
<laughs> I forgot the name for a second. Yes. And at Hey Danny J. And I kind of slid into Lainey's DMs a few months ago. I was, I'm trying to be her best friend, but so anyway, I'm glad to have you <laughs> on the there. channel. We'll get there. <laughs> so awesome, guys. So we, we all kind of started with online ESL teaching with different companies and a lot of people that are probably watching the channel also are online teachers, maybe with a company, they're kind of thinking about maybe doing other things and um, you know building a business around that or offering something else into the world can you guys give us a glimpse just into what your you know your current situation is like i know you kind of touched on that you do some recruiting and you've got some coaching going on uh, but since we're sort of talking about passive income it would be interesting to know like what types of passive income do you have and then after that i'm going to ask you a question about what is passive income and you know what it takes to kind of get there um, and dispel maybe some of the myths around it. And yeah, just some actionable steps to, to help teachers get started. So why don't we go with Danny first? That was a loaded question. Did you catch what I was asking? I, I think that. so, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's 8 a.m. for me. Okay, yeah, I got it. No. It is early. <laughs> they were like, are, Danny, are you here? <laughs> so, <laughs> normally I don't, I always like, my first meeting of the day is usually like nine. And so I've, um, it's past the VIP kid days, right? Where I get up really early. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay. But yes, yeah, so for passive income, for me, I really got my start through referring on YouTube. So referring has really taken the place of me having to teach actually. So I do, we kind of talked, if you caught our last live about teaching now because you want to, not because you have to. So a uh, referring has mm. been a big income stream for me. And I always say to people, you know, you don't need a big following to be able to refer successfully. Over the past years, I've been the you know one of the top recruiters for Go Go Kid um, without a major following. So it really anybody can really do it. Uh, you just got to start. But I got into that, and then I also because I was on YouTube, which I think is the best place to get started in referring. Uh, then you know I make passive income now through YouTube ads and through loads of different affiliate links that will bring in pretty good money every single month. Where I'm not really having to do anything. I'm just adding those links to my bios or yeah. Recommending them throughout a video. And then I also before have had um, it's <laughs> been a little bit in the works, but I've had then passive income through uh, my e-commerce product um, yeah. and then now coaching. But that's not as passive. But I do now actually officially launched a course. So that's another now a new stream of passive income as well. Yeah, I saw that. Tell us about it. Yeah, so I have an online ESL teacher course for people that are looking to get into online teaching where I have like templates of how to write feedback, how to understand TPR, how to understand synthetic phonics, kind of everything that you need to know about getting into online teaching. And then also like awesome. the top places to teach and travel. Um, and that will feed into that I'm creating actually a course to help people also just who are interested in referring. So those are kind of my, those are my little side projects right now. I'm trying to add them together a bit, but um, getting a feeler out on that. Yeah, that's so awesome. And I love how like, just something like recruiting for a company can teach you so much and then can like, launch you into other things, right? It's just, it's right, so amazing yeah. when you start to learn those entrepreneurial skills. Um, like, gosh, I don't know, when I first made my first YouTube video, with the mind with the eye of recruiting, I never dreamed that like, I would learn all these other things like marketing and, you know, branding and, you um, creating content and just showing up and adding value and all that type of stuff. So I super, know. super it's cool. It's the best, right? It teaches you how to, online teaching is the best little yeah. like introduction to entrepreneurship. It is. Yeah, I think so. Too. Totally. Yeah. And what about you, Lainey? So what do you, you, what do you got going on? So I, just like Danny, I do still teach, but it is um, definitely cut back a lot. I teach maybe an hour a week without school. Um, and again, it's just to stay relevant and also to see those faces because that's yeah. why we got into this to start with. Um, but at this point, my coaching business is, of course, my number one income stream, especially for passive income. So I have yeah. um, my team course, which is an entire course all about creating success with platforms like OutSchool. So it has a lot to do with lesson planning and marketing and how to put your online teaching on autopilot so that you can then shift your focus to creating other streams of income because my yeah. whole principle is that you have to get that 
under wraps first in order yeah. to really start to put the energy that you need to into creating other streams of income. And yeah. I also have a tech course, a mini course called the Online Teacher Tech Guide, um, where I give tutorials on how to utilize platforms like Nearpod and Boom Cards and uh, Google Slides in your online classroom to increase engagement with your students. So those are cool. definitely my my top income streams. And then, of course, YouTube provides yeah. me with some passive income as well as referring and yep. uh, affiliate links. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Cool. I, I did look at my spreadsheet because I I'm kind of geeky with like all the streams of income that I have. And some of them are very little, like, you know, fifty dollars a month and some are like two thousand dollars a month. Yeah. But I love keeping track of like what's doing well and just sort of seeing the trends as to, OK, so this particular affiliate link has really grown and I'm like now actually making a monthly income from it without having to do anything. And I think, you know, you were talking about creating like courses and and coaching programs and things like that. And um, I think when people think of the idea of passive income, right, it's sort of, it, I don't know, it's sort of synonymous with like sleeping and making money and waking up and seeing income coming into your mm -hmm. bank account, which it is, but those things don't happen without the work getting put in yes. in the beginning, right? Like the recruiting business that I have, yeah, it is like pretty much on autopilot, but it took a lot of work in the beginning. And I would say I worked a really good six to nine months on creating all the content and creating all the guides and my private resources for referrals. And when I had those things in place, then I was able to say, hey, look, I've got an offer that's valuable that is going to help you pass the demo. And that's what people want, right? Especially with recruiting. And things like my a course, for example, I've got a small course on, on building a website. It was a lot of work to create all the videos and things like that. But now that the course is made and it's sitting up there for people to purchase, it has an uh, it has an uh, you know a, a limitless amount of students that it can have. And because of that, I'm not trading time for money anymore to right. teach the course. I'm not teaching the course. You know, every time someone buys it, it's it's there and it does create passive income. So um, I wanted to ask you. Uh, Ruse the roof. I wanted to ask you um, what, what kind of goes, what went into creating the passive income for you that has enabled you to have different sources of, of streams right now? Like what, what kind of did it take in the beginning? And did you see passive income as something that you wanted or were you just trying to grow your business? Anyone want to jump in? I mean, Maybe, I will. Yeah. Uh, so for me, I feel like number one, it really takes uh, you being steadfast and, and knowing mm -hmm. that it doesn't happen overnight. Just like you said, it took you six months to create all those resources. Same for me. I didn't understand in the beginning how important it was to have systems and processes in place to automate everything for yourself. So it takes creating those systems and processes to be able to actually see it be passive, which is so right. important. And, um, I say it all the time, systems and processes is the only way that you can see success is to have <laughs> a plan yes. in place for how you want it to look with, I mean, how much time do you want to commit to it? Trading time for money is a huge thing and something that um, I wasn't willing to do anymore. So I was willing to put in the time up front, just like you said. And yeah. um, I think that's really important for people to know is that it does not happen overnight, but did I want to create passive income? Yes. But it was more of me trying to, I think, find my purpose in my business. And yeah. it, it was, I was trying different things to figure out what felt right to me, whether that was YouTube and yet, and it was, if, if it was Instagram, yes, it was. And I just tried so many different things. Like you said, some things don't see success like the other ones and that's okay, but it's still bringing in some sort of passive income for me. So by bringing it all together, you, you really are able to increase how much income you have because yeah. you're able to try just because you yeah. try. It doesn't have to be perfect or successful every single time. Um, yeah. So I think that's also important. Yeah, I love that. I love that. And um, I think, you know, like you're a good example of, of sharing a lot on, I, I mean, are you, you're on YouTube a little bit, but probably yeah. not near as much as on Instagram, no, you right? You should be on right. YouTube so, more. I know. What's that? <laughs> I said you should be on YouTube more, but okay. I should. You're exactly right. <laughs> Definitely. But, you know, it's uh, just to say that like, you know, Danny and I have a YouTube channel as well and and put a lot of effort into creating consistent weekly content and build a lot of um, 
passive income through our channels, but you don't have to have a YouTube channel, right? To do that. Right. I mean, if you're, if you've got an idea, like a seed of an idea that you want to take action on, um, it doesn't, you know, you can choose the platform that works for you. And if you're adding value and sharing it with an audience, whatever that looks like, then you're able to, to find your people. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I liked, uh, I love that. What about you, Danny? Yeah, I love that. Agree. Also, I think, mm -hmm, agree. And also, I think what a lot of us did is everybody has, you know, I always call it squirrel brain in the beginning when they're first starting out and they want to start some sort of a side hustle or side income or build passive income. They're like, I could do this and I could do this and I could do this. And so many teachers come to me. Um, I'm st I still offer it, but I don't advertise it as much where I do like a business brainstorming session for pe with people for an hour. Because I have so many teachers that just like, had all these ideas and they couldn't Sign just pick up. one thing. Yeah. Okay, Tim. <laughs> and so, uh, so I always need that. Like even you've never <laughs> arrived at anything, right? You're always right. like learning yes. and growing and like wanting to. Yes. Yes. But it is so important in the beginning though, you've got to pick one thing. And like that for me, I picked referring. I said, that's my one thing that I'm going to like understand fully. And I'm going to understand YouTube fully before I try and move on to the next thing. Like Lainey said, yeah, like um, building your processes, right? Building that system with one thing, it's going to be hard to build multiple processes time. If you can just start with one and you can really understand, like Lainey said, before you, you got to master your teaching business before you can expand. So you got to really focus on the one thing. And that's, I think, what all of us did. And when you find success there, then you can yeah. move on. And then you have to be patient with that one thing. You can't get, you know, uh, what's it called? The shiny object syndrome because it's mm -hmm. slow, right? For a lot of us, it's slow. I was not the fastest growing YouTube channel. But I just showed up and I stayed consistent. And even when I watch other teachers, you know, really start scaling more than me, I said, you know what? I'm going to just keep showing up. And I, I would have never yeah. in a million years thought I would become the top recruiter because yeah. it, but, but but people get bogged down they think it's only about numbers or it's um yeah, you, you know it, i'm not growing fast yeah. enough so many people give up don't give up stop yes. it love Keep it going love it if you guys aren't loving this i don't know but put it in the chat <laughs> if you are loving the idea <laughs> of passive income and um just say yes in the chat i see a lot of people just jumped on in the last yeah five or say minutes. yes <laughs> with an a yeah yes. <laughs> <laughs> so good um and uh, just say hello if you're just joining and you are uh, let us know where you're from and we'd love to say hello to you so awesome oh, so yes, i want to get into um loving it yes, yes. yes. alora yeah. yes go alora for sure yes um, so a lot of people have you know ideas and and dreams and it's like they don't take action you just finished yeah. by saying that so what is it that caused you to take action and I, I can go first. Like I was yeah. determined to make money online before I even got into online teaching. I, I quit my brick and mortar job without any other income streams. Don't do that. But I was trying to take, I just wanted to take a year off. And I was like, I'm gonna learn skills. I'm gonna learn like online business. I'm gonna do whatever it takes. Found online teaching and then, you know, the rest kind of grew from that. Um, but I think it, it's just determination and mindset for me was just yeah. the real pivotal yeah. thing in like, in taking action. And you know what, just, trying it even if like let's say it's recruiting or let's say it's i don't know you want to make you've got an expertise in something and you want to build a course around it just try it and put it out there in the world and you know get feedback from people on if it's something that would be valuable um you just never know it starts small but it really can grow and you know like i was saying earlier i think i've got like 16 or 17 different little income streams coming in and they all kind of come together to make more like a full-time job more yeah, than i ever yeah. made working for brick and mortar so mm -hmm. um yes tim get it, get what, it. What, what made you start get it get it laney what made you start uh, uh my i would say because i'm not afraid to fail and, and that's really okay. i think the pivotal thing for me is that failure doesn't scare me um which I know is a big thing for a lot of people. And it's mindset work. Like Tim said, it's a lot of mindset work and knowing that even if something doesn't go as I want it to, and that I hope for it to, that it's okay. I can still pick it up and I can still keep going. Just like Danny said, it's about yeah. not stopping, no matter how, what the outcome looks like. It's all about not stopping. Um, yeah. So for me, yeah. I just stick by that and that the people who are most successful have seen the most failures. So it's okay if I fail and I will just keep it, 
keep it moving. Yeah. How do you that. like, I just want to talk about that for a second. So, cause I think that's really common, like that fear of failure and yeah. not, you know, and especially I have, I really have that fear now cause I, I, I'm scared of fear, failing publicly and trying something that doesn't work. So, you know, it is just mindset work, isn't it? Just kind of working past all those, those fears and realizing that everybody fails. And someone just said, you know, the, the most successful entrepreneurs have multiple failures. And I love hearing about them because I'm like, okay, you failed too. You know, you've got a, 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 a multi-million dollar business and look right. at all the, the obstacles that you overcame um, uh, through that. So Allison says, she's in my coaching program. I don't want to have a day job. Awesome, Allison, passive income. Yes. Here I come. She's, uh, she's just starting to build out her van. So she's going to be cool. mobile soon. Okay, yeah, She's a preschool amazing. teacher. Um, learn and excel, learn and excel with Raquel. I definitely have a lot of fear holding me back. Yeah. So hopefully you're, you know, getting inspired by this and that, you know, you can do it, you can move past it. And, um, does anyone else have anything to say about that fear of failure or Danny, what, what made you start or what, what, what was the question? What, what caused you to take that action in the beginning? Like you started with recruiting and yeah. then how did you, what, why did you think of doing other things? And yeah, this kind happen? of hits on imposter syndrome, I think, with that question. So I had always, when I worked for VIP Kid, I was busy traveling around Southeast Asia. I was, had started, I actually founded a travel company and I used online teaching to help fund that. And so I was just like, I never thought of it as something I would grow with. I thought of it as like, this is my part-time gig while I build this other thing. And I'd always though looked at teachers that were referring and I was like, oh, that would be really fun. I love mm -hmm. making videos, but I, I would tell myself, Did you? Oh, yeah, back in the day. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like I was just talking to, okay. Really funny story. I don't know, Probably I, um, made my, uh, high school's homecoming video. So like, oh. that's how into videos I, I was in too. Like okay. I, I was really into it. Anyway, sorry. Squirrel brain. <laughs> Gotta reel me in. Okay. So, uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> where were we? <laughs> where was the ADD? So I was, I'd watch teachers on, on YouTube and I'd be like, wow, that'd be really cool. I would love to start a business like that, but there's no room for me. I'd always say that there's no room for me. And that's something I hear from a lot of clients that come to me. They say, oh, well, why would anybody listen to me on YouTube? There's already a bunch of other people that are doing it successfully. And I used to think that way too. Mm -hmm. And then when I found GoGo -Go Kid, it was a newer company. So they were like sort of still in their baby phase and they didn't have that many teachers. And I was like, oh, there's a hole, right? I found mm -hmm. a hole. I'm going to start referring for this company. And I literally sat on my floor and I didn't think about it a lot. Again, it's like, Lainey, I'm like, you know, if I fail, I fail, whatever, who cares? Mm -hmm. I sat on my floor in my apartment in Vietnam and I filmed my first video and I probably awesome. said, um, 50 times, but I just did it. And I thought, yeah, this is something that could be helpful to others. Mm -hmm. They don't know a lot about, and there's not a lot of people making content on it yet. So I'm going to dive all in. And little did I know, I could have done that with VIP Kid too. There was room for me, but I waited to kind of find that hole for myself. And then I, I then I dove in. Yeah. Nice. So I, I took you on a loop there. And I, I find the hole. Like that's so, that's, yeah. that's a golden nugget right there. Because for me, I was only with VIP Kid and I saw all these big YouTube VIP Kid stars out there and thought, you know, like, I don't know, what do I have to offer? Like, they're so big and popular, but I was a, a male. I am a male. I wasn't, was a male. <laughs> <laughs> and I filled that hole of, you know, offering content online that was maybe from a, a guy's perspective and, yeah. you know, would, would, would fill that hole in that way. And someone just asked, um, Daniel was asking, do you, do you suffer from imposter syndrome? Of course. Like, all three of us are doing similar things and we're all online teachers, but we all offer different perspectives and different you know, um, different things within our business. And people are going to want to learn from you because of what you offer. Um, not, it, it doesn't matter how many people are recruiting or how many people are um, coaching or whatever it is. There's always room at the table. Uh, what's that expression about the boats and the tide? I always get it wrong. All the tide, tide rise the boats. lifts all it's boats or all ships. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Team well, Aaron. And I, I actually think that um, to go along with that, what, I don't even know if Danny really knows this either, but I even have imposter syndrome sometimes in regards to Danny because I have gone through her YouTube program myself and I got to witness how organized and structured it was. And I would 
look at it and be like, oh my gosh, like, why am I not this organized and structured? Like everything is so in place. And it really took me just going through that and then reaching out to her even more. So I think just like you said, it's about collaboration too. So if you feel that imposter syndrome, reach out to whoever you feel you're, yeah. you're really not with. And I guarantee you, they will probably give you answers to help you with whatever it is. That's yeah, so totally. funny too, because I felt that way about Lainey. <laughs> and that's kind of why we both, I think, reach out to each other too, because I watched Lainey level up so fast and I was like, dang, I got to get on this woman's level. And so we hit each other up and then we started talking. And then I know we're going to talk about it in a little bit, but that, and like, we've, we both exchanged services. So Lainey took my YouTube program and I then was in Lainey's program because I, I definitely need help with out school. Let me tell you, we're just like knowing how to market those classes. And so, uh, and, the, and then after she graduated my YouTube program, we're like, we should still probably meet. That would be really helpful to just continue to meet because uh, we think kind of similarly. And then um, we were thinking like, how could we how could we do something more together that better yeah. serves the online teacher community where we're sharing these ideas that we're talking about right now and getting people pumped to see that they can build what we've built and it's actually not that difficult. Yeah. Yeah. And we relied on each other to help each other level up, just like Christy said. Yeah. 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 So awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. Um, yeah. So many great comments here. Just we can all grow from each other's strengths. Um, we all learn from each other, level each other up. Yes. There's no need to have imposter syndrome. But I do every day. It's hard. Every day. Who said yep. who said imposter syndrome is real? Reggie. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> Reggie. And wow. thanks for your kind comments about my website course. Um, Allison says, get an accountability partner. Yeah, that's something that I set up for those that want it in my program. And it really helps to have somebody, you know, whether you call it an accountability partner or, you know, just somebody who can motivate you to keep going when the times are tough. And yeah. the times will be tough and it is really difficult. And you've got to find your people. You've got to find people that will motivate you and, and keep pushing you to, yes. to move forward. Okay, so we're gonna jump into one more question and then we're gonna talk about scale to success. So excited about that. If you are here, do not leave. You will want to stay to the end of this to hear what is happening. If you have not, um, if you've been living under a rock on, on Instagram and you don't know, then please stick around a few more minutes. We're gonna share with you um, scale to success. And I'm so excited about that. Tips, tips. Okay. Actionable tips. What are some tips for online teachers who want to create passive income? Let's dive into some of that. I just want to leave people with some value and some things that maybe they can do, um, to get started. And I can go first. So, um, if, if I don't know if I shared that question with you, but if you are thinking about it, I'll just brain, you know, brainstorm some ideas as well. Um, I think it's really important to, um, build authenticity around something. So if you are wanting to, you know, create passive income. Let's say you're wanting to. So I, I, I have passive income through uh, a Tesla course that only teachers need to get hired. You probably all have it. It's called the uh, IOA Tesla. And I've been through the course. I've done it. And I recommend it because it's valuable and it's cheap and it's needed. And, you know, I've created a lot of helpful content around it. To, sh to share with people. Um, I've got other affiliate links for platforms like Groove and I use that platform myself. So I'm able to speak from authenticity about it and share how it's valuable to me. Um, same thing for recruiting for companies. You know, I'm authentic about everything on this channel about, you know, the good, the bad and the ugly with companies and just sharing my real life experiences with them and what I know. It's not all about sugarcoating and just trying to get someone in to make a sale because if that's your perspective on things, you're, it's, it's just not gonna last. You might make a little bit of money, but you know your whole brand is going to show as, as too salesy and things like that. Um, so make sure you're using and, and you know, living and breathing what you're doing um, and providing value as well. Okay, you go, what's your tip? I think, the one thing that you have to do when you're starting, again, with the squirrel brain, teachers have a lot of ideas and a lot of different ways that they can serve people. So you've got to really kind of find, I guess it goes along with your authenticity, but like where your strength really lies. And again, pick that one thing and then ask yourself, not what you can get out of it, but how can you serve others? And I think that's the thing that we all did, right? Did I take yours, Lainey? Uh, yeah, you just nailed it on the head, Danny. <laughs> yeah. I think it's true, right? It's, it's, yeah. it's yeah. It's, yes. And I have so many people like I, I always tell this story. I had a client 
come to me. It was one of those, our business brainstorming sessions. And I said, well, oh, what do you want to like, what is a dream look like? What kind of dream business is it? And she said, well, maybe courses. I said, what? No, no. That's like, that's, that's, is your dream to have a course? No, your dream, like really, that's just a way to make money. What's your dream of like making an impact, right? How do you want to serve people? That is where the money lies, right? When you can find, again, like we said, a hole in the market, but also like, where do you really care about serving people? Because that's where you're going to be able to show up every day and remain consistent, even when it gets hard, because it might look like we have it all together now, but we do not. And we did not in the beginning, for sure. It was like, ooh, and you know, you'd see a little dip and you say, yay. And then you're down again. This is the journey that you're going to go on. And it slowly kind of goes up, but you don't see it going up when you're in it. You just don't. So if you're not really into who you're serving and that's not your main focus, it's not going to, it might succeed, but you're going to want to dip out early on. Awesome. Yeah. Re yeah. Really great tips. Uh, Reggie says, um, how can I serve is the best question to answer with whatever it is you're wanting to offer. Nailed it. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, Lainey, did Danny take yours? Mic yeah, off, or uh, that's really what I was going <laughs> to say is that you have to be committed to serving. And that has to just, it goes along with authenticity, like you said, Tim. And I think that um, it's easy to look at the money side of things and the ease part of it and wanting to sit back and just let money roll in. And sometimes that could be our motivation, but really you should be asking yourself, okay, I want this. Like Danny said, you have this dream, you want it, but you need to focus on the why and not the how. So don't focus on how are you going to get there? Focus on why are you going to get there? Because I'm going to serve so many other people and, and be able to help them in, in ways that are going to lead them to success. So you have to have that. Very cool. I love all these camera changes. Are there people seeing these? <laughs> this one's a weird one. I, I don't like this it as much. Kind of weird. I feel like we're all going to like, give each other a high five. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's get into it. How can we get started? Let's talk about scale to success, um, which is I've kind of sneaked it into the uh, intro countdown timer if you guys weren't here for the beginning. But we are, um, well, sorry, you guys are running an online teacher summit for two days in August called Scale to Success. And I want to hear all about it. And so does everyone here. So let's let's chat about it. What is Scale to Success, Lainey? So Scale to Success, Danny and I came together. We knew we wanted to create something uh, to really inspire and motivate online teachers to know that they have the ability to do so much more in building an online business and then scaling it. And uh, just like we have done and Tim has done and so many other online teachers, there's something to be said for the qualities that teachers possess that are so similar to entrepreneurs. And we just want to be able to work together to give you tons of information to show you that it's possible for you to do the same thing. It is it is not out of reach. We are no one special and well, we are not special, whatever. Um, My mom and, says I'm special. Well, you are, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. But, um, <laughs> totally, so, we're not. We're just ordinary people. Yeah, normal humans, believe me. Yeah, completely. <laughs> so that's yeah. why uh, we've created Scale to Success. And then Danny, do you want to, I don't know, give more information about what yeah, for sure. I mean, Elaine and I, we thought, how how can we bring more teachers together that really have that heart for entrepreneurship at the same time and have a weekend where we are, or you know, that Thursday, Friday, where we feel like we're coming together as a community and we're empowering one another. And we're also learning tactical strategies, not where it's just like the yeah mindset, but also hearing from speakers in each of the main industries where teachers have found the most success in building passive income and leaving with each workshop with tactical strategies. I mean, we have jam packed it in these two days. You're gonna learn how Lisa replaced her full-time job with teachers paid teachers. You're gonna learn how uh, we have Bryn who's like an Etsy fiend. She's one of the top Etsy sellers. She's gonna be talking to us about how to grow passive income even on Etsy. You're gonna learn how to build passive income on YouTube. Uh, you're gonna learn from a CPA, an actual CPA who works with businesses very similar to our own. There's gonna be a networking night. I mean, there's gonna be, should I go into all of them? There's <laughs> gonna be Tim. Tim. There's gonna be yes. 
Kingdom is speaking, yeah, on how to start uh, building. He's going to talk about building a website. He's also going to be talking a little bit about funnels. He's got a crazy, amazing, even, even his talk alone is just, I mean, we, we were talking about it recently. It's going to be so much value. And then on top of that, we just have loads of other other criteria. I mean, I could keep going, but I think I just it's I came all lot. Thursday. It's a lot. It, click the link to uh, check it out. The the itinerary is listed there with all of the trainings that are going to be included, the workshops that are going to be included in this two day virtual summit. So it is virtual. Um, if you uh, want to learn more about how you can build an online business and scale it, then this is going to be for you. So you can join and Danny and I will be meeting in Austin, Texas together, yes. but you can join us just online. All you have to do is yeah. log in and uh, join us for some virtual workshops. Yes. And if awesome. you're like, Ooh, this sounds really interesting, but I can't make those days or I can't make all those times. You are actually able to buy a lifetime access for all the replays for a great price. So we highly recommend that you do that if you can't make them all. And we highly recommend it in general too, because you can always go back. There's probably going to be things you want to touch on and, re-listen to so we definitely recommend doing that but that is for sure an option for you if you can't make it definitely definitely still buy a ticket because there's not been nothing like this in the online teaching community thus far and i mean it's just gonna be so much value you're gonna leave with action steps and a feeling of what direction that you should go in or how to even if you started your business now how to level it up to that next level again like scale it like we say Mm -hmm. Yeah, so cool. So cool. We've got people saying Heather's here. Hey, Heather. So excited for the summit. Let us know if you're excited for the summit in the comments. And let us know if you're buying a ticket. <clears throat> I shared a little page there that you can go to online teacher dude.com forward slash scale nice and easy. The link is in the video bio. So you can just go right there and purchase the ticket. When uh, when is the deadline for the ticket purchase? Is it the day of? Yeah, you can purchase up until the day of uh, which is Pumpkin. obviously Honk awesome. horn, Austin. Keep it weird, right? Austin, isn't it, isn't it keep, keep it Austin weird. weird? We have an Airbnb yeah. and I'm very excited about it. We had a yes. lot of teachers tell us Austin, because obviously it's all virtual, but we were like, if we want to bring, we want to bring people the most energy we can, right? If this is our energy virtually, we're like, ooh, yes. let's take yes. up a level and let's be, let's meet and like, <laughs> okay, because I just, this is off topic a little bit, but Lainey, you're five, two five no i'm five five feet, feet. five feet oh yeah, yeah. and i'm five really? three yeah <laughs> so we're both like we're this, short we're both short we're both short so it's like these two little powerhouses in the building you can't tell on energy. camera One of those, I have, <laughs> so aaron just asked can asian teachers join a hundred percent i want to also address that that this is yeah. not a company specific no. summit this is yeah. for online teachers in any in any company, any space, any form, if you want to scale your business, come. Like you're going to yeah. learn so much as uh, just so you know much. the topics that Danny was just talking about, and um, I'm excited to learn as well, just from from the people that are going to be there. And so yeah, yeah, we have the teacher it. in Hong Kong who just signed up. You know, she's it's a hundred dollars that's worth your investment. Like yeah. yeah. You know, it's just, it's, yeah, it's nothing in, in terms of what it's it can so do. Much value. Even if it's just for your mindset, like just to kind of get yes. over some of those hurdles and get motivated, motivated by people who are doing similar things and yeah, just crushing it out there in the online space. So definitely come. Um, Heather says taught first BNM for five years. Let's connect. I have some, okay. You might be talking to someone else. <laughs> hey, Lena, good to have you. Oh, good. You're coming. Awesome. Very, very yes. cool. Lena's on YouTube channel as well. Um, Allison says she's four foot 10. See, I didn't even know that. Interesting. <laughs> and not that it matters, but <laughs> I was, well, I just think it's fun to, to like think about because yeah. we've never ever met none of us in real life. Totally. And I always thought Lainey was tall. I thought you were tall. <laughs> so funny nope yeah all right you guys thank you thank you thank you so much for being here and uh i hope you guys are pumped in the chat and if you're watching the replay let us know you're coming in the in the comments of this video i'm excited to see everybody there christy's going to be there as well oh. awesome good stuff so thank you laney thank you danny it was an thank honor to have too. you on the channel yeah, and thanks for having i will us. see you soon okay bye guys so that's it. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching this video. If you um, are interested, as I said, the link is onlineteacherdude.com forward slash scale. And at the end of this live, you are going to be redirected to my video that's premiering all about Groove. And this is the system that I use in my business to 
grow my uh, email list and my and create sales funnels and pages for my courses and things like that. And it does so much more. So if you're interested in that and how I use it, um, stick around. It'll be about a minute or two after this live ends and you will be redirected to that page. So thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, you all are awesome. And I will see you next Monday, same time, same place. I think I have another uh, interview next week. So that'll be really great. So thanks everyone. Have a wonderful week and I will see you soon.